Good morning, everyone. It is a rather cool uh, Saturday morning here at the Big Top. Currently, it's about 10.30. We're sitting at about $83. We had a couple people come in. One of our regulars came in and bought three Xbox games, original Xbox. Best one was probably Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. I think it was Bruce Lee and Hitman Contracts. Then we had a gentleman bring in a whole bunch of PS1 stuff, really amazing games. I'll show you that stuff here in a second. Um, we ended up paying about $175 on that stuff. Uh, and he picked up Castlevania 1 for the NES loose, uh, Kid Icarus loose, and one other thing. So now, guys, let me show you the, uh, the items we got. All right, guys, here is the stuff that I got recently. And as I'm filming this, the gentleman walked right back up with some more stuff. I will show you that stuff here shortly if we end up picking it up. Lots of great PS1 games. He also brought in a PS1, works great with two controllers, and a PS2 with one controller. All right, guys, as I said, he brought in a ton more stuff. Uh, we spent about over $200 on this stuff, but as you'll see, there's some just pretty amazing stuff. These sports titles he just threw in, I was not going to buy them. Really don't need them. And as you can see, we got the Oddworld game, Star Trek, Star Wars, Raymond Rush. That Sheep Raider game is like a $15 to $20 game, which is absolutely crazy. Some Tomb Raiders, a couple Tekken games, Legend of Dragoon. The first two Spyro games, really great games. Three of the Resident Evil games. Then we got some PS2 and PS3 games. There were some gems in here as well. You can see the three Kingdom Hearts games. Time Splitters 2, Dark Cloud 1 and 2 is in here. Silent Hill 2 is in here. Fallout Brotherhood of Steel is in here, and a Dragon Quest VIII. Here are the PS3 games. Nothing really spectacular except for Catherine. All right, guys, it's 1 o'clock. We're sitting at 3.02. The gentleman who brought that massive amount of PS1, 2, 3, and uh, 3 games in, he also picked up a few other things. He picked up a aftermarket Gamers Tech NES system from us, picked up six NES games. I think it was like Strider and uh, Little Mermaid were in there. He also picked up a GameCube. Then we had a gentleman come in and pick up my uh, loose copy of Legend of Zelda for the NES. He also picked up my box copy of Adventures of Link. And he picked up 1943 for the NES as well. Then we had another gentleman come in and picked up uh, two P uh, 360 games. He picked up Dead Island Riptide. And he picked up the Ultimate uh, Stealth Triple Pack. It had like Hitman, Deus Ex, and Thief in it. And uh, we sold 10 NES manuals, guys. So, guys, if anything else sells, I will let you know. All right, guys, it is 2.30. We're sitting at exactly $500. Looks like this has turned out to be another really good day for us. Uh, we've been keeping an eye on the, the booth quite uh, closely, as good as we can. It looks like so far we've not had anybody come in and take anything from us. Uh, some of the stuff we've sold this last hour, hour and a half, we sold um, a 360 controller, uh, wireless, pretty nice one. We sold Pokemon Platinum Loose for the DS. We sold Aladdin, Jungle Book, and Lion King to a lady. Um, really nice games for the Genesis. We sold uh, Myst, The Mummy, and Resident Evil Director's Cut. That is a couple of the games that we just got in, uh, PlayStation games. We sold uh, Pitfall 1 and 2 for the 2600. They also took Donkey Kong Classics for the NES. And we sold a copy of Spyro the Dragon for the PS1, another one of the games that we just got in. So guys, once things start selling again, I will let you know. Well, guys, it is 4 o'clock. We ended up at 6.02, another great and amazing Saturday for us. A few things we sold at the very end. We sold an N64 system. They bought an extra aftermarket controller and a used memory card. We sold the Bible game for the PS2, and a gentleman came in and bought four or five original Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. So, guys, now stay tuned for Sunday. Welcome back, everyone, to a rather hot Sunday afternoon uh, here at the Big Top. It's like 2.30. We have just been slammed again and again today. We're currently sitting at 4.75. I think it's like 2.30. Uh, some of the stuff we've sold here in the last uh, four or five hours, uh, we sold Super Mario for the DS. It was loose. We sold a uh, loose uh, Dreamcast. He also picked up a immaculate copy of Final Fantasy VII for the PS1. We sold a 2600 with uh, the five games that we normally give with it. He also picked up Congo Bongo, Miss Pac-Man, and Porky's for the 2600. We sold Mario Tennis for the N64. Uh, this morning I took in a Game Boy Advance SP. It lasted about five minutes. Sold that to another one of the collectors that comes in quite a bit. Really nice guy. 
We sold an NES aftermarket. He also picked up Friday the 13th and Goonies 2. We also sold Chrono Cross and Final Fantasy IX, uh, some of the really good PS1 games we got in yesterday. I uh, sold Halo Reach. Somebody else picked up Watch Dogs for the PS4. Halo Reach was for the 360. We sold another 2600 system. Uh, they had their five games with that. We sold a PS3 controller, one of the wireless aftermarket ones. I sold Tekken 6, the special edition. Came with the arcade stick in the game in a box. Uh, really nice to see that go. We've had that for quite a while. And we sold uh, the actual Tinkerer. Finally came in again after a couple months. I know he was on the road with his wife. He came in. All those Commodore 64s that I got in, I let him take those all away to see if he can get them fixed. It would be awesome if he uh, does uh, get those working. Let him have a couple free games for some stuff he did for me the uh, last time he was in here. He also took four Commodore 64 cartridges and two 2600 games with a couple of Commodore 64 manuals as well. So guys, once things start selling again, I will let you know. Also forgot to mention that Thomas came in early this morning and sold me quite a bit of stuff, some really, really nice stuff. He had some N64 games. Probably the best ones was Yoshi's Story and uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. That Mario Tennis game also came from him. The Game Boy Advance SP also came from him. Uh, he also brought me uh, some uh, three N NES systems that were loose. Unfortunately, I've not been able to get those to work. I may end up giving those to the Tinkerer to work on, as well as an N64 system that did work. All right, guys, we're getting the heck out of here. It's uh, 4.30. We ended up at 5.59. Uh, right when we were closing up at 4 o'clock, we had a couple groups come in, and they actually bought some stuff, which is always nice uh, when we're trying to close up. Some of the stuff we sold in this last hour, uh, we sold uh, the junk man came in and bought 10 comics from me. I let him have them for 50 cents a piece since he bought a few. Uh, I know he's going to try to resell them over in his booth. He ended up giving us $7, which was kind of funny. He said, keep the change. Uh, we also had somebody come in with his children. He bought Galactic Attack for the Saturn. I've had that for a very long time. Nice little shooter. Really cool to see that go out. One of his children bought a DS game. The other bought a couple of comics. Then a gentleman came in and bought some N64 games from us. About four of them and a couple PS2, guys. Uh, so stay tuned for the wrap-up. All right, guys. Here is the wrap-up portion of the video. On Saturday, we did 602. On Sunday, we actually did 563. I must have missed uh, the last transaction of the day. I think I said it was 559, but it was actually 563 for a grand total of 1165. Really great weekend for us. We did pick up some really great games as well. And I know you guys probably saw the video I did on Saturday night. Yes, I was able to add Beyond the Beyond to my collection, which I know I kind of ragged on the game. No, it is not the worst RPG of all time. It's the most disappointing game of all time because my expectations on this game were so high. So again, guys, thanks for watching.